main aim is to bring goa on the world wide map for sailing uh, we have such a good beautiful coastline and we are using it to the maximum as you can see uh, our sport is a uh, water sports and that is what we are trying to promote and thankfully through the years this is now getting recognition tumso jo anubhav asa ya sport sa through lokang kire message jo aaya ek footprint dung sutta so basically uh, it is an eco friendly sport that is what we are trying to promote uh, we would like to encourage all the youth and everybody to take up some kind of sports because health is wealth in today's uh, generation and in today's time it is very important uh, you know it keeps you determined it keeps you focused so we have been uh, doing this sport for the last 10 years and uh, we have won a cup, couple of national and international titles as well tumi goya bairi watson kyaolya Well, boy, I'm very much on the other. We've done world championships, Asian championships. I have been to the Asian Games in 2018. We both have been to the Asian Games in 2018, and I've also participated in the Youth Olympics in 2014. So, yeah, as you said, there's a footpath of your fathers. Like yes. uh, you got the interest from your father's side. Yes, I saw them sailing. I saw my brother sailing. He is my mentor. He, or uh, we both trained together. So after I saw them, this is how I got interested. uh what will be your future plannings like uh, you want to go for a higher olympiad so for every sports person uh, asian games and olympics is the highest level of uh, you know that is a dream for every sports person uh, so that is a dream for me as well and hopefully i will take goa there khub jana ni khub jana chi pairan sanka along korina asle sports an participate korpa because it is an adventure sport it is completely uh, it is also very dangerous but we are taking of course safety protocols we have to wear a uh, impact vest and also a helmet when we are racing because uh, it is an adventure sport so as you said khub sanchi parents allow karna but for us luckily our father is a mentor and he has uh, you know he is a winner for himself so he got us into the sport my brother was sailing for the past 12 to 13 years and he started the sport much before i did actually and after looking at him and after following his footsteps and my father's footsteps i got into the sport as well uh, my name is dean koilo uh, 24 years old and living in dhaka uh i is uh, jo tu silver medal sorry yeah silver uh, jo tu me silver medal jiko naila ta cho jo anubhav asa ani jo ek tu me hard effort getla wo jo proud moment ek lokan kire sangu sutta just want to say that Uh, if you set a goal for yourself and uh, if you work towards it, then anything is possible. And it's not just in this sport, but it's in any aspect of life. And uh, I'm not going to settle with this uh, silver medal. Obviously, I want a gold for the next event, so that will be my aim for the next event. See, our delegation was always uh, towards achieve a greater heights for our country, which I've been uh, doing this almost about ten to twelve years back. in any field like you know development program is most important which i was always supporting them because once when they were young when they have just started i have gone to one international uh, event and then i had a training program so uh, over there that country has under statement and uh, for us like you know just because you were indians and they were young and that was the challenge because i was little bit insulted like not face but as they were talking i could understand that they have mentioned something to me like you know they the olympians are coming but i could guess that like you know it was little bit just because we were in viewings and that is the challenge i have taken it and i have done it all my cost towards 
bringing uh, results for the country which i'm going to do it till the end and i hope you know uh, whatever the achievement they have brought today it should be an eye opening to the government and government should support us i'm just senior officers honorable dgp they emphasize on police public relation and as a part of that when we came to know that uh, son as well as daughter of the soil of kalambu area has achieved uh, this uh, say gold medal and silver medal in second round for qualifying for the asian games so it is a proud moment for all of us especially kalangut kar so we also think that we are also kalangut kar so we thought of meeting them and a sportsman needs recognition and appreciation and and she and he will be motivated to this and they will bring many more medals i also Uh, understood that she is the only woman to participate in Young Olympics 2015. So she has won gold medal, silver medal, and they will achieve many more in future. So to wish them all the uh, luck, we have come over here. Sir, Ashe Kalangut ka karatle je sports person astale je zor Ashe field atle and suppose woh is only jala tumi easy drive tumji asa felicitate karpa chi tumi chalu dovartle ami chalu dovartle ani konakui samaj ashe kala ashe bhurge kono ashe sports an participate jam sakta ke financial kire tanka problem asa ka te sports equipment jopa problem asa jala we have some context ami bare position achara amka bari salary asa so we can contribute from our self also and we will encourage them to go in the sports once you are in sports you will be away from drugs and all other illegal habits so we will try to encourage in sports